Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It all depends on where you're hearing me from. Good morning, happy Sunday to you all. From here, it's a beautiful Sunday morning and I welcome you to this very channel. Urging you to please stay glued, love what we're doing, subscribe to our channel and um, drop your comments after listening. Okay, now I want you to listen to Nigerian please now before I talk. We cannot enter anybody's house to drag them out. Don't sit at home. Come out. We cannot do it. We will be infringing on their fundamental human rights. They have freedom of choice. Ours is to make the environment conducive for those who want to come out and go about their businesses. We have a duty to protect them. Did you hear the Yoruba man? Very sound and very clear. In case you didn't hear him very well, please, you can do a playback on that very video. All right? They said they cannot come out, they cannot go to your house and drag you out, though. That their power as Nigeria, even as they are lawless, their lawlessness, eh, did not reach to go and drag you out when you don't want to come out. But it is only when you come out that they can deal with you the way they want to deal with you. That protection you are hearing, eh, is something else. So, it's not protection. When you come out, when you come out, you can receive counter force. You will receive their slap. You will receive their tearing of clothes. You will receive the shooting and killing from Nigerian police. That is when you come out during Setato. Hmm? Not on normal... Um, week or normal days that you're supposed to work but when you hear it at home the enemy puts traps on your way snares because they want to trap you down so that they will blame people that put sit at home sit at home is to save our people we know it has an adverse effect somehow but that's the only way we can protest because they are beating us black and blue they are hitting us, slap every nuke and cranny. Beat you, you don't have right to talk. Beat you, you don't have right to be president. Beat you, you don't have right to, for, to freedom. Beat you, your brother that is not a criminal is now uh, being treated like a criminal. And these are the beatings the Igbos are receiving from Nigerian government. Here and there. Economic beating. Burning down of our shops. Doing a lot to truncate our, uh, our freedom as people. That's the beating we are receiving from all parts. Bah, 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 all over. And the only way we can say enough of this beating is that sit at home. Why did we choose sit at home? We choose sit at home because, because if you come out to protest, say you design placards, and you write some things that is bothering your mind to show the world that, oh, 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 we are not happy. Do you know what you receive? What happened in Lekki Togate? What happened in Abba? That's what they want to do. And they repeat it any time they see their friends protesting on the way. Yes. Do you want that? That is the worst. Death is the worst. Hunger, there, may, there is hope. Even when you are hungry. But when you die, there's no hope. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, when you hear, sit at home. I'm saying this because today is Sunday. <laughs> if I'm your bar is a criminal, he'll be telling you that, come out, come out, we'll protect you. Sorry, oh, Bullet does not know anybody. And remember, he has given some untrained hands many guns to shoot. To shoot. <laughs> They may use you to try their guns, oh, if it is, it can actually kill. Biko, I go on on Akrika, stay at home. Please, I beg you. All right? This thing is a phase. It will, it will pass. It will pass. I envisage it will pass. We are pushing and pressurizing so that they will release Namdekano. That's the only thing that's bringing about the setato. After the release of Namdekano, if you hear Sitatom, know that uh, enemy has come. Unless we will do Sitatom because of referendum again. 
That is the only thing that can bring about seat at home that they must have to conduct referendum. All right? Okay. My very good people, we are talking to you because of love. Because that is where our treasure lies. Where you are is where our treasure is. Igwebuike. Ndikwe nandekwe. That is what is messing up Igbo land. There are a few politicians that have taken their national cake. They have it in their pocket. Huh? They have eaten enough. They are the ones that tell you, oh, please, please come out and go about your lawful businesses when others are doing it at home. They, are, they did not create a job for you in the first place. And our roads are like that because of them. They are, they've pocketed the money given to them to build our roads, to bring about uh, basic amenities, to build markets, and to even do uh, build industries for our people. They pocketed those money and uh, privatized it. That's why you are seeing them as rich people. Oh. They are not actually rich. They are thieves. All right? They did not put the money where it's supposed to be. And that's why the roads are in deplorable states. Very horrible. Killing. Many people die on our roads because it is bad. All right? And in very bad condition. I was watching a video that happened in Nigeria. Um, where flood carried one man with his bike. Oh, nobody could help. The road is bad. Bad in deplorable state. I'm telling you the truth. When you hear it at home, it is your right to. Police have said it. Aderemi, the one that say if it takes killing their friends uh, to give Anambra peace. <laughs> That they will kill, oh, they won't mind, oh. but they are not killing their people in Yoruba land. Hmm? They are not even speaking such grammar in Yoruba land. It's a Yoruba man saying that in Anambra State. And I know they have chased him out of Anambra State. <laughs> he has received what he did not envisage. All right? My dear people, please, please, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. Information is power. And that's why you are higher. Because you receive information from your people. What to do and what not to do. What we are doing and what we intend to achieve in what we are doing. Alright? Thank you very much for your time on this very channel once more. God bless you all.